Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Happy Tuesday, Joya. Happy Tuesday, Mr. Martinez, Jake, and everyone. Hi. Jake, welcome back, buddy. We haven't seen you since December. It's good to have you this morning. Thanks. We have a brand new flag today, guys, from, I believe it's from Sasha. She is in the fourth grade. We could all use a little love, uh, especially after last week. So she's put uh, the US flag into a big giant heart. Uh, great optimism for tomorrow's big day for our country. Thank you to Sasha. Lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance there, Joya. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Big shout out to Sasha in the fourth grade. Thank you again for that. Uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. We were out yesterday in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, birthday. Great celebration. Hopefully you had time to reflect on Dr. King's life. Think about how you can contribute to your community. It's a great time for us to do that. Uh, the weather has changed, guys. We, we were in the mid to upper 80s. Today, the high in Studio City is 63 degrees, like 20 degree difference. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what a difference it is. And we, we even have rain in the forecast, uh, hopefully by this weekend. So we'll see if that actually happens. Jake, we're so excited. We haven't seen you for a number of weeks. We want to be able to catch up with you. Why don't you uh, tell us uh, some highlights from your winter break? Um, so I played a lot of video games, a lot of board games, and just a lot of sports outside, too. Okay. Tell me, what's your favorite board game? Because I love board games. Um, I don't exactly have a favorite. I just like them all. You just love them all. Have you ever played Monopoly? Um, yeah, I don't exactly like it just because it's like so long. Okay, Just okay. Like so, so, long. so uh, my family and I, we had a big Monopoly game, but we played this the speed up version where you deal out some of the properties. Yeah, in, uh, Monopoly deal. Well, I, we just call it M Monopoly Martinez. And so we deal out those those properties and then you pay for them and then the game gets going. And uh, boy, we had a rock'em sock'em game. Also, there's also just um, a game called a, a Monopoly deal that's like, a Monopoly card game that's like much quicker. Okay, than, All right. I haven't seen that one. Joy, are you a Monopoly fan? Yeah, I like Monopoly, but it takes a long time. One of my favorite games ever. Uh, uh, Jake, uh, we've been talking about resolutions. Everybody that's been coming on has been sharing some of their resolutions. Uh, mine was to show, uh, to acknowledge uh, the great contributions of other people. I've been trying to focus that uh, as best as I can. Do you have a New Year's resolution? Um, yeah, to uh, wash the dishes for my family every weekend. Oh my God, that's a fantastic uh, New Year's resolution. So did you, were you successful this past weekend? Yes. Okay. And, and uh, do you have a, a certain technique about washing the dishes that you use to make? Um, exactly. I, my mom and dad do it different. So like, I just learned like a combination mostly. Okay. Joya, do you do the dishes over at your place? We have a dishwasher, but like we all just put them in the dishwasher. So no, uh, I guess. You know what? We have this argument in my house because my wife loves to use the dishwasher, but I don't like the dishwasher. I'd rather get in there, do them, dry them, and put them away, and then be done with it. Uh, so that is a great resolution uh, for you, Jake. Jake, I've all, we've also been asking everybody about the status of the yo-yo that we last saw you with. Have you been practicing with it? Have you learned anything with the yo-yo? Um, I have. I don't actually have mine, but my brother got one. So this is my brother. Okay. So I guess I'll just like do it once. Oh, well, you, you're going to show us. Can you get that thing to go down and you can catch it in your hand? Uh-huh. All right. I'll just do see. it once. It might be hard for me to fit on this. It's for my brother's finger, but okay. this is the best I can do. Whoopa! Nice. Good job, Jake. So listen, we want you to work on a trick, and uh, we're going to have all you guys on for a yo-yo day coming up pretty soon. We'll be making an announcement okay. on that. Jake, today is, it's actually Tuesday, so we've come back from a break, and we haven't had any Mondays yet, 
Uh, but uh, every Monday, Jake shares his Jossum Week in History. And I've got your slide. Uh-oh, what did I do with your slide, Jake? Hold on one second, buddy. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so now share Jake's Jossum. There it is. Can you see that on your screen there, Jake? Yeah. All right. So uh, tell us what's going on this week in history. So um, yesterday in 1733, the first polar bear was put in a zoo in U.S. in Boston. Wow. So, so yesterday, so January 18, 1733, first polar bear exhibited in America, and it was in Boston Zoo. Very cool. I love polar bears. Very interesting. Thank you for that, Jake. Uh, guys, listen, we've got something major happening tomorrow. It happens every four years. Uh, it's called an inauguration. Do you guys know much about the inauguration? What takes place? What happens? I do because I've, yeah. just, I've just been following like all the presidential stuff lately because I really, I just really want a new president. So, so you're, you're ready for some change. So yeah. listen, I have got a quick two minute video that we want to show all kids to get you ready in terms of what happens during the inauguration. And this is tomorrow morning. Let's watch this together. Here we go. Congratulations, America. You've got a new president. The new president isn't actually official until the inauguration at noon on January 20th. That's the exact date and time called for by the 20th Amendment to the Constitution. It all begins with the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court swearing in the new president. The tradition of placing the right hand on the Bible was started by George Washington. However, three presidents have opted to do without a Bible. John Quincy Adams, Franklin Pierce, and Teddy Roosevelt. The band plays Hail to the Chief. Then there's the inaugural speech. My fellow citizens. My fellow citizens. My fellow citizens. The inaugural speech sets the tone for a presidency, and if they're done right, inspire generations. During his second inaugural address, Abraham Lincoln sought to stitch the nation back together. With malice towards none, with charity towards all, let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds. He would be assassinated barely a month later. JFK passed the torch to a new generation when he said, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. After the speeches, the day ends with an inaugural ball, a tradition started by President James Madison and his wife, Dolly. While all this is going on, the White House goes through a complete transformation. In just a few hours, all the former president's belongings are removed and the new president's furnishings are moved in. By the end of the day, when the new commander-in-chief walks into the White House, it will seem like they've always been there. All right, that is uh, information about the inauguration tomorrow. And you saw that it takes place January 20th at noon. Now that is noon in Washington, D.C. How many hours difference between Washington, D.C. and Los Angeles, guys? Any idea? Two or three. Three. It's three. Yeah, that's so right. If it, if it takes place at noon in Washington, D.C., what time will that be here? Nine. Nine o'clock. So listen up, and Joy doesn't even know this. We will not have the morning announcements tomorrow morning because we do the morning announcements every morning at nine o'clock. Tomorrow, we want to encourage everybody to watch the inauguration. And you either will do that with your teacher or your teacher's already communicated to your parents. Uh, but it starts right at nine o'clock. It has to start at nine o'clock. And we want everybody that uh, wants to watch that ceremony to watch it. So we will take tomorrow off and we will be back on Thursday. Shout out to L. L, you'll join us on Thursday. Uh, but no morning announcement. Enjoy. Yeah, you get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Your first sleep in of the year. Look how happy you are. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy, wait, are you happy about the inauguration or sleeping in? Both. Okay, both. Okay, very good. That's fair enough. All right. So that is tomorrow. Uh, guys, uh, it's Tuesday. Joy's got a new tongue twister for Jake. What is it? Let's hear it. So this one's very popular. It's how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a wood 
Chuck could chuck wood. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hot dog. Good work, Jake. That was probably the best we've ever had anybody do one of the Tuesday tongue twisters. Great job on that, John. Um, when I'm actually just watching, uh, I could actually usually do five okay. uh, on the really hard ones. Too. You are awesome at tongue twisters. Uh, everybody that's watching, we want to remind you uh, that we are collecting offerings for Mr. Glover. Uh, tell us more about that, Joy. This is a friendly reminder that we are accepting offerings and from any interested students. Sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> this is a friendly reminder that we are inviting any interesting students to write a letter to the family of Mr. Glover. Letters can express condolences, appreciation, or share memorable experiences with Mr. Glover. Letters can be mailed to Carpenter and Mr. Martinez will deliver them to the family. That's right. Bless you, Jake, on that sneeze. Uh, boys and girls, we also want to tell you and announce that we have put up a slideshow on the cover of our website. I think I have a picture of it here real quick. If you look up here on the screen, uh, you will see uh, right in the center of our homepage, there is a slideshow. You can hit play. If it asks you for a password, it's Mr. Glover's first name in all block letters, N-I-C-K. Great pictures of Mr. Glover teaching at Carpenter and his career. Uh, over 17 years. So when you get a chance, it'll be up on our website for a while uh, and that's available for everybody. Guys, let's do our words of wisdom. Do you think that what you do affects other people? Hmm, now listen to these words. We need to understand that the conduct of every person affects more or less the happiness of others. In other words, everything that we do and say affects the people around us. And even though we can't be responsible for everyone else's happiness, we can do our best to add to the happiness of others. That's you, Jake. Notice how the conduct of one person can affect the entire classroom or even the entire school. Then make someone's day a little happier with a few words of kindness and or encouragement. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Joya. And Jake. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Remember, everybody, no morning announcements tomorrow. You have the inauguration of the 46th president. Uh, big day tomorrow starts right at 9 o'clock sharp. Your teacher will give you more information about that uh, today. Jake, have a wonderful day of school. Joya, sleep in tomorrow and enjoy the inauguration. Will. Bye. I'll, see, I'll see you guys on Bye. Thursday. Bye, guys.